I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Go check my channel called Exposing Human Trafficking if you're not on it. This was planned 30 years ago. And Trump, he didn't drain the swamp because he's part of it. He was there the night that I was gang raped by celebrities, politicians, law enforcement, illegal aliens, and everyday Satanist citizens. Look at the inauguration. Who's there? Jennifer Lopez. She's in my videos. Jennifer Lopez is a skank. When my brother, George Bermudez Jr., introduced her, he said, look, I got a friend for you. She's from New York and she's Puerto Rican. And I was crying because I wanted to get out of there and I was tired of being gang raped. And he said, oh, you know, you're over here crying and she wishes that she had a bed to sleep in because she sleeps in a cardboard box in Hollywood. Jennifer Lopez will sell her coochie out to anybody for money. And so will the rest of these people. You know, Trump with his, you're from New York, beach half. I'm going to get the bad guys. And he left and never came back that night. And that's the same thing he did to all of us in America. He left the White House, didn't do anything. And he's not going to be back. He'll be back, though, to open a social media platform and make millions and millions of dollars in it. But he's not going to be back to save America. Because this has gone on for 30 years, okay? Well, actually, 1989, 20. 21, it's put 32 years. And nobody has done anything in all this time. The election rigged, that is a matter of national security. We all know that there were other avenues that could have been explored and gone down through. Other legal remedies for this, but he didn't do it. Now, the question on my mind today is with, I know of other celebrities that have also been victimized, and I've contacted them. Some of them were pretty vocal about it, and then all of a sudden they shut up. Why? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid they're going to show some videos of you being raped? That have been edited to make it look like porn. I've got those out. My mouth is running. Are you afraid of some threat that they're going to come after you and kill you? Well, don't you have bodyguards? I don't have any bodyguards. And I've managed to get away and get protection from the government. Is there some secret underground reptilian base under Antarctica? <laughs> and you're afraid of the boogeyman there? Bring it. It's about time there's disclosure if these creatures really do exist. No. The reason is money. People will sell out for money. I've been offered lots of money. Brad, when Brad came back to finish the ritual um, January 11th of 2019 when they trafficked me again and he sodomized me. He was promising me the world. He was saying things like, I want to take you around the world. I want to buy you a nice house. Make sure you have really good food to eat. Because he knows about the anorexia that I suffered. And then he said, I want to take you to movie premieres and award shows. I want to buy you every Barbie doll you've ever wanted. Because he knew I collected Barbie dolls. Bribes. And people will take bribes.
you know, if this whole Jesus versus Satan thing <laughs> really worked, then uh, why aren't the Christians praying and fasting and casting out these demons? All I see is Christians using four-letter words. Do you really praise God with that mouth? That potty mouth? That sewer mouth? That gutter mouth? Why didn't you call a fast? Start praying them out. Why didn't you use the full armor of God? Why didn't you use the sword of the Spirit? All the scriptures. Because the whole Jesus Satan thing is a farce. Okay. So at this point, what do we do? We just keep prepping. Prepping for the bad that's coming. In history, right before something really bad happens, a lot of people die. We saw it with the Spanish flu. We see it in the Bible with Methuselah dying and then all kinds of chaos happening. The reason why is because, yes, this is a spiritual battle as much as it is a physical one. And the real God and Goddess, in their mercy, take out those that would be too weak to handle what's coming. Those that wouldn't be able to handle the calamities on a physical, emotional, psychological, spiritual level. And what is left behind are those strong enough to deal with whatever happens. So that's what's going on. That's why you see COVID. Bad stuff is coming. So prepare. Make sure you have enough food and water. Whatever else you need. Clothes, medicine, whatever it is. And focus on self-preservation for yourself, your family, and your loved ones. Because that's what it's going to come down to. I've said it before, this is not a war that you're going to win with guns and knives and fists. This is a war that you fight and win with love and purity and truth. If there's darkness, the only way to get rid of darkness is to turn on the light. Once that light is on, the darkness cannot come back in. The only way darkness will come back in is if the light is turned off. Keep speaking the truth. Keep being about love and light and peace and goodness. That's the only way. Keep your chin up. And keep that crown chakra on your head. Thank you. Subscribe if you haven't. Share. People need to know what's going on. Comment below. Give it a thumbs up. And press that notification button if you want to know when my videos are coming up. Thank you.